Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Okay, so I'm going to play this through for you guys. You can check it out, hear Jake talking about it, and then I will add some commentary right after that. I come in here right before batting practice, hop in the batter's box, and I just hit off this little machine right here. I mean, I go one to two rounds, some I started this year. Main idea, just get on time with the fastball. Boy, that ball was crushed. Just a piercing line drive. Jake Lamb just put the wood to this ball. I mean, you know just as well as me, if you're not on time for the fastball, you got no chance to hit. Okay, so a couple of key points here. I'm just going to kind of play the video through again as I talk. Um, and actually, let's stop right here. So this is a, a, a junior hack attack. We use this with all of our teams. We've got a couple of them. And um, let me hit on this first, and then we'll talk about getting on time for the fastball. So for me, a pitching machine can be really, really valuable to be able to simulate you know, pitch speeds that you're not really able to get in practice, right? So a lot of times if we want to simulate game speeds, we've got to move the L screen up pretty far to simulate that game speed reaction time with the machine. You know, we'll do it with that, with front flips. You know, we'll do short batting practice. But then we also go back to more, you know, 60 feet, 6 inches, or at least where we feel the pitcher is going to release the ball from. And then we're going to put the machine on. And so we're able to start to see the ball from a longer distance, but also be able to create game speeds, okay? So really, really important tool. I know a lot of players say, oh, I don't like the time-up pitching machines. The cool thing about this machine is that it has this ramp right here. And so you can see the ball being put in. You can see the ball drop down the ramp, and you can kind of time up the ball down the ramp as you would an arm swing with a pitcher, okay? So really, really cool stuff that we use with our players and our teams, and we find that um, they get a lot of use out of them. So let's talk about Jake Lamb now, talking about timing up the fastball, being on time for the fastball. Like you said, if you're not on time for the fastball, then you can't hit, okay? So hitting, we talk about, you know, a lot of people talk about all the time, right? Hitting is about timing, and pitching is about disrupting timing, okay? So we've got to be able to get ready for the fastball, be on time with the fastball. And that work goes in in your practice work, but also it happens on the on-deck circle, right? I'm trying to figure out when do I have to get my foot off the ground, right? So here's Lamb. When do I got to pick my front foot up so that I can get it down on time to hit? And what typically is going to happen is you're going to get your foot down when the ball is pretty much just about ha past halfway to the plate. You know, everyone's a little bit different. Um, but that's what getting on time is all about is when do I have to pick my foot up so that I can get it down when the ball is about halfway to the plate, okay? And so every pitcher is going to be a little bit different. So right here, he's getting his front foot up off the ground. Basically, he just started to get it off. So, you know, his arm was probably just breaking out of his glove a little bit after his hands break from his glove. He's going to start to get his foot up so that he can get his foot down when the ball is about halfway to the plate. And then he's on time for the fastball. Okay? So everyone's going to be different. It's going to depend on your leg kick, right? Some players have a leg kick. Some players have a, a small stride. And so it all depends on you. And the pitcher, those are the two variables. So you're on the on-deck circle and you're trying to time up the fastball, all right? So when do I got to pick my foot up so I get my foot down when the ball is about halfway to the plate? So be on time to smash it, all right? Um, so that's the first thing. Then you can get that. You can practice getting on time for the fastball and game speed fastballs by using a machine. So pump the machine up, try to get a game speed, and now I work on getting my foot up and I'm just transitioning that ramp that I talked about. We're just pretending that that's a pitcher's arm swing and we're trying to figure out, okay, when do I have to get my foot off the ground? If I get my foot off the ground and I'm late and I say, man, I got my foot off the ground when that ball was basically shooting out of the machine, then I got to say, okay, I got to get it up earlier. So maybe now... Instead of waiting for the ball to come out of the machine, now I'm going to get ready to get my foot up when the ball's coming down the ramp. Or maybe if that's still too late, I get ready when the ball just gets put into the ramp. Okay? So now I'm working on figuring out when am I getting my foot off the ground. All right? And so I'm working on my timing. A lot of players think timing is like this magical thing that, you know, they always say, oh, my timing's not 
my timing's not good right now. You know, if I just face enough pitchers, if I just hit enough balls, then my timing will magically start to get better. You have to, there's more to timing than just getting a bunch of reps in a game. Like, I am in control of my timing. I've got to figure it out, right? I've got to do the prep work. When do I get my foot up based on the pitcher, all right? And if you do that, it won't take very long to get your timing down. And timing is something that you're always working on. Like, it's not just like, oh, I don't have my timing down yet. It's early in the season. Give me a few more games. Okay, I'll get my timing down, and then I'll be good for the season. Like, I'm always, like, that's one of the biggest things I'm always trying to do. Every at-bat, i got to get in sync with the pitcher. Okay, I've got to figure out when to get ready for the pitch. Okay? So hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff there for you guys to check out. We've got uh, Deal With Play Crate going on. We've got other product suggestions and recommendations for you to check out. And that's all I got. Thanks, guys. Good luck to you. I hope that you got something out of this video, and we will talk to you later.